This special report came to you from ABC News. We now resume our regular program schedule. We now join General Hospital in progress. I never said this, and you never heard it. He came to me after Cheryl's party, late. He was panicked. He was having flashbacks of grease, of brainwashing. The message he was still getting was to kill Ariel, and he nearly did when he received this picture. We have to make damn sure that doesn't happen. Well, you said first thing in the morning, and that it is. Yes, it is. Good, Carl. Now, I want to see those papers, and I assume they are all ready for Tony to sign? Completely. Great. And what they are saying, I am sure, is that I get some of Tony's money right away? Well, there's going to be a bit of a delay in that. There are some complicated assets which need some financial analysis, but you'll get money right away, yes. Thank you. Carl, um... Did your secretary just leave it out, or did you somehow foul this up? Leave what out? There is no clause in here that is specifically stating that Bobby can never be BJ's guardian and that I am to be BJ's guardian. <laughs> Lucy, you know, there's a principle of law known as let the guy go home from the poker game with his pants on. I mean, Tony has signed over everything to you. Do you want his child, too? I want custody of BJ if anything should happen to him. Now. I'm going to get it. So either you do it, or I'm going to get myself another lawyer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Lucy, I thought you might want that last pound of flesh, so uh, here's another version. Good. That's more like it. This is very good. Carl, see that Tony signs these today. Please. Please what? Please, Carl, would you kindly see if Tony will sign these today? Thank you. Lucy, you can get yourself another lawyer. I can get myself another client. All right, Carl. Please and thank you. This is um, Scorpio. Give me uh, Guy Lewis, will you? Yeah. Uh, Guy, Robert. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Look, I'm I'm a I'm as sick as a dog today. No, I'm I'm not coming in. Mm. Any emergencies? <coughs> what? Oh, there's some bloody flu, temperature, all that sort of rubbish. Yeah. Well. Yeah, call me if you need me, all right? Yeah, bye. here during the day. Yes, hello. Mm-hmm. Right. My God, your eye looks awful. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I waited all day yesterday for your call. What happened? I want those pictures. Well, that's why I didn't call you yesterday, yeah. Uh... Look, it's kind of embarrassing for a professional to have to admit this, but, uh... Where are those pictures? When your husband hit me, he broke the camera. The back was ripped open and the film was all exposed. What are you saying? I'm saying there are no pictures. Plus, I lost a $600 camera. Well, forget the camera. I'll buy you a camera store if you can find a way to restore those pictures. <sighs> no way. But how am I going to prove my husband was having an... Fair with Bobby Meyer. That, Mrs. Howard, is your problem. If you want my advice, I'd keep after him because it won't be long before he's at it again. Have a nice day. Sorry.
Colton hasn't been in the room for days. I can tell from the amount of mail under his door. Oh, where the hell is he? I haven't the slightest idea. I can't... Would you look this here? I want to talk to you. Maybe I'll be back. General Hospital, brought to you by Vaseline Intensive Care Hand and Nail Formula Lotion. Where the hell have you been? I've been looking all over town for you. Now I've been wandering around the streets of New York City, just trying to clear my head. I had to get out. Did it do any good? How do you feel? Tired, confused, desperate. Hmm? What did you find out about the picture? Is it real? Who sent it? Is Ariel a terrorist? I'm still trying to find that out. The WSB is playing turtle with me. Oh, somebody has to know about her. Somebody has to know who sent that picture. Whoa. Ariel didn't send it. Oh, That's whoa, for whoa, damn sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. You're pushing yourself too hard on this thing. Look. At least you came back to face it, right? I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm already around the bend. Colton, you certainly didn't send this picture to yourself. Look at me. Go see Tom, will you? You helped me before. I know he's concerned about you now. Look, Tom doesn't have any more information than I do, all right? Well, all right, then don't go see Tom. But you start waking up. You start dealing with this thing yourself. Calm down and think. Well, this belongs to you. suspicions about Colton Shaw. There's no question that he had an affair with my wife in Greece after he was discharged from the Marines. Well, with all due respect to Lady Ashton, sir, she was single. Why? You hadn't even met her at the time. Thank you, Captain McLaren. Yes, I'm aware of that. Nonetheless, it's hard for a chap to be entirely sanguine about his wife's former lover, particularly when he's a strikingly handsome, somewhat younger gentleman and forever hanging about. Well, perhaps you should consider wrapping the work up on the Aphrodite and uh, lifting anchor for another port. Oh, the ship's not ready for that. Besides, it would solve nothing. No, we'll keep our eyes peeled and uh, see what happens. I thought you might like to know that I'm on my way to Tony's office right now. Well, thank you, yes, for coming by. Um... I really would love to see Tony's face when he reads that. <laughs> I'll bet you would. Mr. Burns? Dr. Jones? Come in. Daffy Dale to start with it. Now, my head's too stuffed up to think about it, but all right. Okay. You're here? <sighs> Guess I gotta go. And you gotta practice up. Right. Let's try it. One, two. Be careful, would oh. you? You're gonna hurt yourself. Don't get too close. This is like the play. You get it just by looking at me. Ah, uh, never. Look, I tell you. Contagion is the worst in the early stages, and this has been going for all the ten minutes. I never get sick. I can't afford to get sick. Neither can I, but somehow my body doesn't always get the message. You know what I always say? Mind over matter, that's the secret. That and, of course, diet and a lot of exercise, which you... Terrific. I'm sitting here breathing my life away, and you're filling the room with smug. Oh, let me stay I... here. It's for cold hands, lady. Oh, it's because you have a fever. It's because you have Where's cold hands. Where's your thermometer? Well, I never needed one. I, uh... You don't have one? No, I think so. I thought you have a little girl. She lives with her mother. Oh. Who's her mother? 
You do my biography or diagnose in my dis... dis you need <coughs> aspirin. Aspirin. That's what you need. <laughs> I don't think I have any of that either. No. Uh, uh, well, then what you obviously need is a good cup of hot tea mm. with a lot of lemon and honey. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I'll get it for you right now. Since when was the last time you ate? I had a donut. For breakfast? Dinner. Oh, no wonder you're sick. Look, look, I can't, I, I don't want to drive you out of here, man. You got to practice and all. I'll practice when I get back. Right now, I have to stop you from starving to death. Uh-huh. And you need a thermometer. Uh, listen, get, uh, forget it. Well, why don't you go upstairs and go to bed and just plan on staying there? Right away. You're obviously sick. Right away. I mean it. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Go on. <laughs> for a human being. Now listen, you can have my money. You can have my stocks, the T-bills, the CDs. You can have everything, but you will not have my daughter. Got it? Look, Tony, it does you no good to come in here and get yourself all worked up and upset like this, okay? It's not helping you I've here. I just started. Well, I am very, very proud of the way I happened to raise BJ when I had her. She flourished under me. She loved me, and I love her, and I would take very, very good take care of her. Care of her? You won't take care of her. Maybe you will. Maybe you'll take care of her. You'll teach her to lie and to cheat, to scam, and to grow. Oh, and money! Fine! What would Bobby Meyer teach her? She'd teach her how to be a whore. Good morning. Good morning. Well, don't you look splendid. Oh, well, thank you. What are you up to today? All I have is an appointment with Dr. Tom Hardy later on this afternoon. Oh, good. Well, you haven't mentioned your migraines recently. Does that mean that things are improving? Yes, I think they are. So, um, where are you going besides the hospital, then? Nowhere. Why? <laughs> Because you look so absolutely gorgeous, I'm wondering who besides Dr. Hardy you're setting out to bedazzle. <gasps> Colton Shaw, perhaps? <laughs> I don't believe it. You're still jealous, aren't you? I'm only teasing you. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Lawrence, you're reading a lot more into the situation than exists. I, I know it looked like we were embracing the other night at that bar. Well, it did look that way. I well, must admit. that's not what was happening. I... I was upset, I was a little tipsy, and, and Colton was just protecting me from the other men there. That's all. Well, as long as that's all there was to it, then... Absolutely. A knight in shining armor, as it were. Yes. But you, uh, you do get on quite well with him, uh, adequately, at any rate. Of course. Good. Good, because, you know, he is the most superb engineer. He has an innate sense of what makes the old Aphrodite his heart tick. So much so that, you know, I'm uh, seriously thinking of hiring him on as my chief engineer when we resume our cruise. What do you think? I think you can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. Um, well, I'm going downstairs. I'm starving and Cook is going to be very upset with me if I go down and ask for breakfast this late. I mean... Ariel? Yes. Never. Ever. Let yourself be bullied by the servants. <laughs> I don't. Take care. You too, sweetheart. You won't believe this. About Lucy? Mm -hmm. I can believe anything. I've got about three minutes before surgery, so what's up? She had that ambulance chaser she hired draw up an agreement on my property. Tony, it's making me sick, everything you're giving to her. Well, listen, this is going to make you sicker. She, Lucy, wants to be BJ's guardian, and you're out. You didn't sign that, did you? Of course not. She cut her own throat. All right, look, I've got to go to neurosurgery. I will definitely come by your office after. Okay, who's operating? Woodruff. He's getting pretty good. Thanks to me, he's getting a lot of practice. 
But keep cool, okay? All of this upset is doing you a lot more harm than Lucy. And your health is shaky enough right now. I called the city, Tony. Excuse me, um, I need to see Dr. Tom Hardy. It's oh. very important. Well, Dr. Hardy's with a patient right now. Do you know when he'll be free? Well, it should be less than half an hour. Okay, I'll wait. Thanks.